All right, guys, today I'm going to be working on mounting uh, both passenger side and driver side fuel tanks. I bought these off an old 80 Chevy C70, C7000 out of a salvage yard a few years ago. They were on my uh, F700 five yard dump truck, but with the belly blade that I plan on putting on it, they're not going to fit. So the old tanks off of this truck are going on that truck and these tanks are going on here. The one here on the passenger side is going to end up being used for a hydraulic reservoir because I plan on running the rear mounted PTO winch off of a hydraulic pump. So I got some holes that I can reuse but it's one per bracket so I got six holes I'm going to have to drill out. And nothing's going to get plumbed into this yet. I gotta wait till I figure out what I'm gonna do for hydraulic pump, uh, hydraulic hose routing, suction line routing, return line routing, so on and so forth. And then I'll take this tank back out, drill the holes, weld in the bungs, reinstall it, and plumb it. So we'll get this off the jack stands, get the brackets off, and uh, get to drilling.
right guys there's that for now you got uh two four five more holes to drill so i'll show you what's going on when i get those uh drilled okay guys there it is eight holes drilled two brackets mounted now you guys gotta watch me struggle putting a 50 gallon tank in by myself so let the fun begin All right, that's one tank mounted. Step back to a side shot here, let you guys take a look at it. It's not too bad. Those saddle brackets sit uh, about right, right with the bottom of the front axle. So that still affords close to 18 inches of ground clearance. So if I can't make it over something with that much ground clearance, uh, I think I've got a bigger issue. Well, I'm going to get going on the other side. i got to cut all the brake stuff out. Vacuum booster, brake lines, and a bunch of other happy stuff so thanks for watching guys appreciate it